Hello everyone and welcome to Factoria, Empire, and it's time to play C Block. What happened in the previous episode? <laughs> I don't remember. I have absolutely no idea what happened in the previous episode. I suspect we built this block, so I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do today. Uh, one of the goals that I have is to collect all of these materials and to start producing sephirite here. That's a good goal, I think, but I'm not sure how close we are to this, because I don't know, it's lots of stuff. Maybe we should uh, figure out uh, brass today. We should produce zinc and build grass. Uh, brass, what do we need? How, how can we use zinc? Let's see. Zinc or ingot. Ingots are used for brass. For solder. Okay. I mean, I don't get why we would do that when producing lead is much easier. I, I guess it could depend on the underlying um, ores. Which exact ores I use for this? Molten bronze, zinc, and copper. This is kind of nice. This uses more zinc. This uses some lead. Oh, interesting. So. We can actually have very high consumption of tin compared to copper and we might want to do that if we want to keep this part running all the time we might we might want to have slightly higher consumption of tin to do that interesting what's happening here why is this Right, because here we have tin. Us, us, zinc powder, paste. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting path. Let's get back to the spot. So, should we just consume copper? I don't want this. I don't want to consume just copper. Because we'll need lots of copper. Should we consume just tin? Maybe we should. Wait, but that is a solder. That's solder. We don't need solder. We need brass. We already have solder. Bronze? No, we are interested in brass. Copper, tin, zinc. I feel like this is probably the best, right? Because we're using some copper, tin, copper, zinc. It's like 18, 6. This one, 18, 12. But we are using a little bit of tin, so like the difference is actually 12. Yep, I like this one. I, I want to use this one. The issue is that we need to research this, actually. But we will not have research in the beginning. I will still build it with this in mind. I'll just temporarily have a different uh, research. Uh, so, different recipe used for that. 
Let's start. So we need brass, right? Actually, speaking of brass, what do we need it for? Do we need it for anything important? I mean, we need it for military science, so that's basically it. That means that we... Oh! Okay, so we need for purple signs. And what do we need? Purple signs? Oh, let's see. So this is, for example, light purple signs. This is light purple one. We need a lot of signs, and we also need it here, right? Okay, so we do need a lot of brass. We don't need lots of brass. Um, brass, right? Let's um, proceed. Let's say we want to go for 54. It's our standard number. And we want to use this recipe, copper and tin. Right? Because I want to use the tin and I want to make use of that process that uh, builds them without any catalysts. It's like the most efficient process. Uh, Peros and uh, Kuprix Sartin, uh, especially tier 1. Like tier 1 is awesome. So I want to use those. Okay, let's see. So it's for Th this thing we already had. I believe this is the build that we used. We'll need to expand it to add like one more uh, belt. But the important part here is that we'll need to produce some zinc. And I think with zinc, we... we don't actually need lots of it, right? At least I don't think we do. I'll, I'll just... I'm just gonna use zinc one. Because it's simple, we'll get the job done, and uh, yeah. I feel like it will be enough. Right, so it's basically two to two. That's fine. And now we need to produce some core. And we'll be producing it like this. I mean, we don't really need a lot of sync for this, to be honest. Do we need a lot of brass for the... Okay, no, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter much. Uh, this part. Let, let's, let's start building. We are already 8 minutes into the episode. And we still don't have the build finished. That's, that's not good. This part. I want to connect here and here. Yes. And what's going on here? Um, I feel like uh, first I want to check this are enabled. Enabled. That's good. It means that it's a proper stations. Next. Probably want to, uh, we want to tell this that we'd like to build something here. Right. Maybe not this one. Next. Oh, wait. It's kind of wrong, right? Because I am actually supposed to place them here. That is our input. Okay, let's see. Do I need to produce some copper? Wait. Sorry, not copper. Uh, charcoal. I don't need charcoal? How does it work? Oh! Because this is a Chemical furnace. Interesting. I don't need charcoal. That's uh, 
that's uh, new, slightly new. But but it's good, right? It is good. So we started building the thing. Let's uh, call it. We will call it plates, of course, right? And this will be brass, I believe. We don't really need anything except that, right? Just the brass that we're interested in. We might rename the station uh, at some point. It's gonna be fine. So plates brass output. Okay, let's proceed. I said that I want this build. And I really do. So I, I basically just want to copy it, more or less. And I want to place it here. Right? Um, okay, we have a tiny problem. And that problem being that we have a little bit of uh, water over there, we should be able to land for it if we place something like this, stuff like this. Now, now, here, I want to actually request lots of stuff, but one of the things that I want to request, okay, I'll do it on the next line, is actually uh, sink ore. Because I believe we should have huge amounts of it. And I want all of them to be delivered here. And... Where is it? Isn't it here? Right, okay, so it's coming. Good. Didn't we have, didn't we have problems with iron in the previous episode? I think I remember having problems with iron, and that wasn't good. Right? I feel it was kind of bad when we had such issues. So, let's maybe fix them. Let's say that this will be our iron line, and it will go here. So we have iron. Let's figure everything else out. So this part. Um, one other thing that might make sense. But let's see. If if I copy this part and place it here. We do have some space for the rubber parts. Okay, let's let's actually do this. Let's place this line here. Nice. We'll remove this thing and we'll place a lot of rubber parts here instead. One. Let's do it like this. We'll have a lot of rubber parts. Hopefully this should make everything working really, really nicely. Now, we are still not receiving this part. It's okay. This could actually be copper. Because why not? Yeah, the base is super busy. It's time to build something, and it feels like it's failing to, be to, to, be, to build whatever it wants to build. Right, what do we want? For this, um, for zinc, we need Jivalite and Babmonium. Let's request those. Let's say we want Jivalite chunks, this ones. We want Babmonium chunks. We want crystal catalyst. Hundred. 
Okay. Another 200 stacks. Another 200 stacks. But that's not enough, right? Because, as we just discussed, we want to uh, have like a little bit more than that, right? We want, in addition to that, to have. Um, want to have tin and copper. So let's request this as well. We'll request copper. We'll need lots of it, but uh, we'll still get the same amount funded. And we'll want tin. Tin will size for 200. So in total we're asking 5, 6 uh, times 200, 1.2 thousands. And I don't like this blinking. It's blinking again. It means that I need to grab these accumulators and just place them here. Nice. And this train is gone. It's going somewhere, which is good. So, um, how should I make this work? This will be catalysts, of course, and we also need javelite and babmonium. This will be javelite. This will be babmonium. Okay, another thing. Place it here. Nice. Now, in addition to that, we need a couple of extra things. First of all, we need to get this. Uh, or and we'll basically deliver it. Put it down there. By the way, this part I never upgraded it right. Input priority right, input priority left. Um, I'm supposed to have it working like this. Right. Right. Um this part is getting a lot of stuff. So it's kind of interesting. What exactly do we need here? Let, let's see. We need to get half of it as copper. And then we need a little bit of tin and sink. So, as copper we need 27 ingots to power this build. This means that this means that we need one belt of copper. One red belt of copper. Right? Which in turn means that we can take two belts that will be will contain half of a copper and half of tin and it should work it should work just fine so let's um, maybe maybe we'll be getting tin from there let's be tricky to okay, not there we'll be getting tin from here this will be copper we will need lots of copper okay we have copper this will be tin Copper will be moved here. And... Oh, interesting. We can actually move it like this. So now copper... ...reached... ...this part. Right? Now... With copper here, I... ...kind of want to mix it with the tin. How do I do it? I basically do something like this, right? This, and we'll need to have tin delivered. Tin will be delivered here, as we discussed. And it will go... So it will go down. Um, yeah, like this. So this will be our tin. Here and we will need to add a couple of splitters. This one. Yep. 
be interesting. That's a very unusual way of doing this. I think I, I never had such things, had such builds, never used them. But uh, it should work, right? What we are doing here. I, f I feel like it should work. And uh, yeah, we obviously are missing something useful here. Right. Okay. Another thing that I realize is that we don't actually need a full belt. Sorry, a full two belts of uh, sync ingots. This is enough. All right. Okay, this part is built. This part is overbuilt, like way, way, way overbuilt. And this one... We need the chemical furnaces. No one induction furnaces. I, c I kind of want to do, like, I don't know, maybe... Maybe something along these lines. Something along these lines, right? Meaning that... Not this ones. Uh, this ones. So I kind of want to have something like this, like one to one um, ratio between them. I think it will work uh, well enough. I could even copy this spot to be honest. Right? Let's see. So let's say we are building three of this copies one, two, three. Requests a little bit of uh, or I also want to improve actually the the inserters and this will have to be filter inserter. I can also improve this one, right? Yeah, let's we'll, we'll just use red inserters for everything. And now here, what? Is going on. One, two, three, and we can get oxygen. Okay, this is our oxygen. Now, we don't need two belts here. I actually don't know why I produce so many. Why I'm producing so many? Uh, let's let's say for symmetry. Let's say we are doing it for symmetry, but um, it kind of seems too much to me, to be honest. Maybe in the future I, I'll want to scale the build. I, I will not need to scale that part. I will have to scale just uh, this one, right? Okay, so we are getting something here and we want... First of all, I want this... Uh, buildings to be placed so without them it might be a bit tricky to do anything right uh, this one is supposed to export sync we can actually do it even right now this one is supposed to export copper ingots it does and this one is supposed to export tin ingots it will be doing that soon. Okay, so here is tin. And here is copper, and we are mixing them a little bit. We don't actually have to have two uh, belts for copper. It just ensures more or less symmetrical kind of unloading of everything. Right, so looks like that's it. But let's see. Do I have to? Oh, first of all, I don't want to have this one there. So we'll have to figure something out. Maybe, maybe if we do things like this, we can remove this rubber uh, part. I don't want uh, anything to be on the slimes. Now, here. What's going on? This is output. So fit dioxide gas. What can we do with it? Dioxide. 
sulfur dioxide. We can produce sulfuric acid. But we are getting so low amounts of it that it's just not interesting. It's completely not interesting to me. I mean, maybe it is a good idea in some situations. I just don't... I, I don't think that uh, what we are doing qualifies to be in like, such a situation. Alright. What else do we need? We need to connect this stuff, right? It's actually tricky because it gets sync as an input and it outputs sync ingots. So we need to have something like this is the input and this is the output. Right? So we provided the input and uh, the output should kind of just merge into something like this and we should have exactly the same thing here again uh, let, let, let's let's see how it works we'll have the same thing here it quite correctly. Right. So we'll have output, output, everything will be merged here, and things will be merged there, and we'll have output from there, and this is the last input. Yeah, I feel like this is the way to do it, and we want to deliver this thing this. I don't care about this, those things. Let's see. Let's see whether this works. We do have rubber parts connected. It's just a matter of uh, building everything and placing all of these things. But of course we don't need this. In the... This uh, pipes. Let's... Uh, okay. I'm not gonna delete that one just yet. Because I want to have this connection here. And I think I want to have one more connection. But I cannot make it like a really nice one. We'll just have to deal with something like this. Nice. One thing that's missing is actually oxygen production. And you can produce oxygen right here. Right? Because we expect to get oxygen here and the idea is to use okay that's the tricky we will we'll do something like this for the oxygen right that means that we need to first of all connect all of these pipes and second thing is and second thing is we need to avoid this one how would you avoid it i would just do it i i i do it like this to be honest wow this had a regular medium red pulse i don't like that i want good ones i want good ones this ones and this ones I mean, they would have been enough, actually. Let's try it again. So, let's say we have this to here. This one, we could move it a little bit up. Okay. This is the way, I believe. Yeah, we'll obviously need to change the recipes here, that is fine, we will do that, so we have uh, copper, copper coming here, I'm actually requesting copper, yeah, let's see what we are missing, we are missing lots of copper, we are missing plastic and resin, 
separate chunks, we know about those. Ledo, we also don't... Uh, we, we don't actually produce it anymore. So, whoever is asking for Ledo, they are not gonna get it. How's the production going? Did we finally managed to place something here. Um, okay, let's just leave this part. Uh, maybe a power connection wouldn't hurt. So here. Should be nice. I want to find a good place for all materials that uh, I'm requesting here all of the materials that I'm requesting, I want to place them somewhere. So I placed iron plate compound, let's say tin and lead. So let's say this... Okay, it doesn't matter really how we do it. So, tin, tin. I also want lead. What else do we have? In lead. Solder, steel, aluminium. Let's do this. Solder. Steel. Makes sense. Aluminium. Okay. This makes lots of sense, actually. Let's do this. Next. What do we need next? We need uh, bronze, brass, invar, and cobble steel. So let's say bronze. This is bronze. Brass. Invar. And cobble steel. Nice. That's basically 11 out of uh, 20. But that's 11. Good. I think this is a good start. We are missing a lot of... Uh, Belts, actually. But the thing is, with the change that we just did, we shouldn't need this one. We should be able to re remove it, this bronze plate, because we should be getting lots of bronze from here. Wait, do, we, do we actually have bronze here? That's the question. Yeah, here we have bronze. We don't quite have brass, but bronze is here and it is, yeah, of course it is requested since we have it already in place. So that means that once we place the final 20 belts, we don't need to do anything more. Like we, we, we don't need to do anything further. It will be just picked up from a you know, local place. So. This should have been enough, right? Let's, let's say we are deleting all of that. And we'll be relying on the chains. Because this thing... Yeah, look at this. It has already lots of bronze. We have lots of bronze. Why am I picking up on the ten? I'm not sure I understand how exactly that works. Okay. Uh, one thing that I wanted to check, I want to check what are we missing for the loose sorting facilities for this one, right? We are missing concrete bricks, and for concrete bricks, what do we need? 
we need we don't have slug wait we don't have slug of all things that's not good let us produce some slug let's say we'll add a passive provider chest and uh, yeah here and we'll get a little bit of slug just a tiny bit Yeah, I guess we don't really have dedicated slack production. It's uh, it's it's very different from the first time I played uh, C block like a long time ago. It, it's it's very different because back then I had a problem with slack with the you know uh, crash stall. I just didn't know what to do with them. But now we don't like we don't have enough of them because like the main producers of those things which are this uh, crushers we are feeding all crush stone back and we are using mostly uh, this um, recipes for constructing it which, which which are nice in a way that they don't uh, actually produce slack so we don't have to kind of deliver it back right this is supposed to be a sink right this is the one Let's say have this and let's say I copied it here. here. Okay. We are producing sync here. We actually have lots of it, but the important part is that input priority is to take stuff from here, from the left line. And here we are missing some Molten lead. But it's coming, it's coming, that's good. So, yeah, this thing. should get fixed, like, th this should work. Soon. We just need this buffer to get full, and then nothing would have to be done because the lead will just cycle it. Um, okay, we I'll take that back. I, I guess we'll need a little bit of lead. Just a little bit. But look at this. No. This is broken. We're supposed to be taken only sink ingots. That is sad. I'm sad now. Okay. Okay. We'll delete it. And replace everything back. That's one way, I guess, of uh, dealing with uh, with these things. And we could actually place a requester chest here and say that we want to request lots of sync and we want to place it on the build. Like sync ingots. I, I don't think I want to you know, do anything with them. I'm just not interested. And with this... Okay, it's not exactly out of the way. But we can produce uh, brass here, right? We're doing it for brass. That was the goal. So we can produce lots, lots of brass here. Way more than we need. We don't have recipe that allows us to use tin but we have some recipe right okay this one copper and zinc we can totally use this one for now and later we'll fix it we'll fix the thing to work a little bit better we do not have copper we still do not have copper i wonder why like, what happened with our copper uh, this is the copper
We are not exporting copper. What? Wait, what? I I'm not exporting copper. Why? Why is that the case? Why I'm not doing that? Um. What is what is the thing? Plus, it's produced from copper and zinc. I knew that I need uh, copper. Why? I have not so. Uh, why I'm not delivering it? I don't like it. It means that uh, the build. Oh, it's all kind of broken. And I also don't really have lots of space to move anything from here. That's not great. That's not great. Let's see. What would it take if uh, here we actually built copper? What if we were to build copper and we would use this process, copper to We would save a little bit on deliveries, but we'll need to have a charcoal and we'll need to find a place to build three furnaces. So building three furnaces shouldn't be a problem. I basically copy this part. I'll just copy this part and it should be fine. But we will also need like local charcoal production, which I I don't think we will need actually for this. Okay, this is good. Uh, this river port doesn't matter. We are just replacing it essentially with this one. We'll change the spot to request the ore. Right, we will change it to request the ore. That's okay. It's not great, but that's okay. It's not bad either. Um, I'm gonna delete this part. I don't want such connection anymore. I'll do it dif differently. This is also gone, I guess. Okay, it's kind of tricky. It is a little bit tricky to do what I want to do. So. How about... How about this? Okay. And we can move everything here. Nice. So we moved it. Great. Now... I need to... I guess... Copy... Which part should I copy? I should copy this one, right? That's exactly what we need. We need basically this build. I am copying it. And I want to place it so, uh, like three times. The idea is that we'll have it placed three times somewhere. We don't have space here, but we do have lots of space here. So I could place it, let's say, here. Right. So we place things here and now. Okay, we will connect this somehow. That's, that's not a problem. That's not really a problem. I mean, maybe it is, but not really. Yeah. 
there. We connected this. Now we need to give the spot some charcoal. And, and this is the input, right? This is the input. And we need to deliver copper there. Okay, nice. This is input. I also need a little bit more oxygen. Uh, can we use a single oxygen build for that? That's the question. I needed some oxygen here, I believe. Right, let's remove it from here. So we don't have oxygen. Say we have a global oxygen. How much do we actually need? We need... Uh, four... Two, three. Okay. Let's do this. Four to three means that we take in this part. And basically doubling it. Right? Except we actually want to do it properly, like this. And uh, I probably want to move everything down by a bit. Okay. And we want to collect things here. And we can do it like this. One, two, three. We are getting some copper. I mean, I didn't really want to have like duplication of the builds, but I just don't have any space there. And this thing, like this part, doesn't seem to be like important enough to really think about it too much, to be honest. I just uh, don't feel like it's worth it. Yeah, and this way it should work fine, I think. Uh, this part will have connection. This one will also have a connection and will pull it somewhere here. Nice. Now, the part that is remaining is the fire. So I'm not going to fire, but flower stack. Nice, we have it. This one. It requires some... Uh, requires some fuel. So let's give it some fuel. We will be able to do it. Like this. One. Two. And actually three, but we'll just move it like this. Stuff and uh, yeah, we have it. Should be working correctly now, I think. We can uh, upgrade the spot a little bit, a better insert of spot. It it honest like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which insert of will uh, be using here. Nice. Let's see. What? That's bad. That is bad. Didn't work the way it was supposed to work. Let's try again. We will try again. I shouldn't have had the balancer here because it just... I uh, you know. Changed the... You know, merged all materials and made it in a way... I guess I could have balanced them better, but like the way they balance now, I cannot use uh, a splitter. It just doesn't work. One. 
I actually feel like I should have better holes here. So maybe here. Right. Let's see. Is this enough? Is this gonna work? I hope it is. And actually all robots should be already doing something useful, right? We are just waiting on the robots to deliver this uh, part. And yeah, I wanted to change this one a little bit. Let's do it. Can I make it really nice, this question? Because I, I don't think I'll be able to place anything here. But okay, okay, let's do it uh, differently. Let's say we are bringing things here. Say we do it like this. The place and stop there, and we have to insert this. Actually, I don't even have to do it like this. I, I can I can use a I, I I can make it better. Right, this is the way. I don't need inserters because I have a loader. Right. I can just place, like, even this loader will be enough. And I will just give this one a priority for the input. And this should work. Okay, what's the issue? The issue is that I haven't fixed these inserters. And now the insert is actually given the fuel and it's working look at this it's going we are producing by the way we are producing enough 27 copper ingots that's one belt almost almost full belt of things so we'll wait for this uh, chest to start requesting uh, things and I also want Do I want to have another chest requesting Yeah I probably want to have input priority right this one will also have input priority right I want to have chest requesting uh, just sync um, ores sync ore so these are ingots right I don't need a lot found it Fine. And I'm not going to request it from buffer chests uh, because I don't see a point. And here I'll do the same with R. Because we should have some leftovers, right? And I just want to collect all of this here. Right, look at this. It's working now. What are we doing now? We are connecting this part and uh, placing some underground belts. Easy. Nice. What is this chest? It should be flying. The robots are pretty slow, I guess. Right, LTN is telling me something. The important part. No alerts. Stereo. Okay, stuff is happening. I don't even know how to read it. I'll just delete it. What we see is that there are some deliveries ongoing and we are also missing a lot of materials. That's not good. But it, it's also not like super bad, you know. It's not like it changes anything significantly. It, it, it doesn't. But the question, do we have? Yes, we do have. Look at this. We have a lot of sync uh, ore. And we have a lot of sun ingots. 
That's good. Please don't tell me they will be coming from here. From main base. I actually don't believe we need uh, this production here anymore. Wait, this one. I don't feel like we need it. I'll, I'll remove it later, but uh, those two things are already produced, right? We have uh, brass. Right, this is all for brass. And we actually have this one as well. So I'm not going to bring it here because it's not really needed. We have Invar. Right, we are requesting Invar, so this thing can actually be completely removed, I think. Right? Because we we are requesting Invar, I hope. This is this is Invar, right. It means that uh, I can delete it. This one could just delete it. I didn't see the point. I just don't see the point of this. Okay, nice. And with Inver gun, we don't really need nickel either. Right? Why would we need nickel if we don't have Inver? And this was needed only for the spot so we can delete this one as well and this one nice we're deleting deleting stuff sync it's okay I mean we don't need this part Let's observe. Is this build working? Yes, it is working. How much it produced? It produced 10,000. I want to limit this to a smaller number. This is brass, right? So let's find brass. Brass, and let's limit it to 50,000. Brass is limited to 50,000. We are building it. Bus plates, input output. Yeah, we have to produce copper ingots locally. I'm surprised. I'm 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 honestly surprised that uh, they didn't think about this. So, how do we use them? Bronze. Okay, we have bronze. Bronze. Brass, now we have brass. Copper powder, we'll figure that out. Molten copper is just copper. Bronze, we need to add brass. Okay. Interesting, they can be produced together. Bronze and brass. Yeah, that's interesting. So in theory, the same kind of build could be producing them, and we wouldn't need to fit this pattern here. But I, I, I placed it here because I needed this material much sooner, or at least I thought that I did. So I just wanted to have some bronze, bronze there. Okay, and solder, we are not gonna use this recipe. This one, it's actually interesting. So I want to use manganese for this. But it's actually not that bad, because silicone ingots don't require much. We just produce silicone and we produce ingots. Copper ingots are also very simple. Aluminium ingots are a little bit tricky. So this is, uh, this is, that was an interesting, that's an interesting option. Might make sense to think about it. Why we cannot produce these two, this two buildings? I don't understand. So what exactly is missing? We are missing... Red circuits, I can't believe it. I can't believe that we are missing red circuits. This is kind of funny, to be honest, because 
Um, talking about circuits, actually, you know what? Let's have a completely separate uh, combinator. Most of the combinator and we'll connect it here. Let's just a couple. Right. Let's say we want to connect this. Nice. We want to deliver some circuits. So we want basic circuits. 4000, right? Is that the number? We want green circuits. Also, 4000 should be enough. And we want red circuits. 4000. And we want them here. It's so basic. These are green. And these ones are red. Okay. Good. We have lots of circuits. And we shouldn't have this problem anymore. We have first circuits already arriving and the yeah, delivering stuff here. Awesome. So with that we should we should no longer have um, a problem with the circuits. What's the issue now? I accidentally cut off the power, right? I, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, let's wait. The circuits should be delivered. It's a green. And we still have red ones. No, these are not the red ones. Do we have more? These ones are actually providing things, right? Let's take a look. We can actually see that they're not providing because it's too much. Let's say they provide at 50. And the plane is coming. Good. What's actually the size of the train? Let's see. Uh, trains. Mm, shipment. This thing. We're asking for 4,000. I mean, that's, that's pretty reasonable. That is very, very reasonable. Let's see how much this will help us. Because with that change, we... We can rework a little bit everything that's going on here. For example, this part, the production, can actually, the red signs, can actually be done slightly differently. We can just request things here. We can also request things here, actually. Let's request it like this. And we'll want. Red circuits, just a little bit. And here we'll want to do it on the right. And we will request a little bit of green circuits. Right? And I feel like this should do it. And we shouldn't really need these productions anymore. But we don't need the circuits. I I guess we kind of do maybe for this part. But really, we don't. We don't need that. This part. 
I deleted it to hundred. It's a bit slow, but it's it's happening. So the research will happen. This research is not happening because we don't have iron. Why we don't have iron? We don't have iron because we just run out of iron. Our base just doesn't have any iron. That's the problem. We are, we are missing iron. And uh, I'm not sure how we can fix it. So yeah, we just don't have iron ore. And what we built here? Oh, it's not enough because we don't have enough... Uh, it's javelite. Why? Why? I don't have enough javelite. Okay, that is okay. We'll figure that out. Uh, we'll figure that part out a bit later. Let's see what did we actually do today. We produced. Uh, we, we, we built this build, like this part, that. Uh, Gives us brass, I believe. Let's make it in lots of brass. We are almost at 50,000, so this thing should stall soon. We are shot on Javelite. And, um, yeah, I don't really want to fix it just yet. This base is a complete mess. Like, it's not really working properly. The way it's supposed to, it just. I guess it's just trying to do something. I, I don't even think we should request iron. Like, I would want to fix iron production, and for that I need more javelite. And in theory, I can repurpose all of this to produce javelite. Is this a good idea? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, let's take a break here. Thanks everyone for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Cheers!